no matter you know who you are there's going to be certain uh, you know uh, opinions and criticisms along the way in your career and, and you just got to try and uh, you know zone them out as much as possible and just concentrate on what's important for you and so uh, I, I still feel like I can you know offer offer at the level and um, I still enjoy the battle out in the middle uh, I still enjoy going to training every day and trying to get a little bit better every day so um, while I still have those feelings and I still feel like I can contribute to the team then uh, I, d I definitely want to be a part hey, of it. Are you amazed at how quickly you can turn obviously man of the series in Sri Lanka that wasn't that long ago. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit, but you know that that's just the nature of international cricket. You know, you, you do miss out a couple of times, and uh, there's always going to be uh, people talking about your position. That that's that's just what you've got to get accustomed to. So, as I said, I, d I don't worry about those sort of things too much. I, I feel like I'm batting well enough in the nets and, and preparing well. Um, but it's a very fine line batting. You know, you make one mistake or you get a good ball, and uh, and you're on your way back to the pavilion. So you, you can't let it uh, fill your mind too much. You've got to try and keep your mind as clear as possible, stay as positive as you can, and you've just got to keep believing there's a big score just around the corner. But if Sean gets up, uh, Mike, your Scorchers teammate, what will he add to the test team if, he, if he's picked for the Boxing Day test match? Uh, well, you know, we've seen what he can do at, at, at the highest level. Um, coming in in Sri Lanka, you know, he, he played outstandingly well. I think uh, he, he showed a lot of composure, um, and he showed a great technique to be able to handle uh, international cricket. Um, and uh, I think I think he's at a stage now where he really understands his game a lot better than maybe he did f say four or five years ago, um, and and I think that's really important when you get to international cricket to have a good understanding of how you know you can play best, rather than trying to learn learn the game and learn about your game at, at the highest level. That can be pretty tough. So I, I think you know he's definitely got a lot more experience. Are you looking forward to Sunday? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I, I haven't seen the uh, you know a lot of the. That the guys, you know, for, for quite a period of time. So it is great to catch up with a lot of the guys. There's a lot of excitement around the team. Um, obviously, new new competition, uh, new team. Um, so I, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I'm I'm going out there with the attitude to have a lot of fun. You know, interact with the crowd, uh, enjoy myself on the field, and hopefully, you know, smack a few over the, over the fence would be nice as well. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to really look to enjoy it. You touched on it. How much of an entertainment factor is it compared to? cricket. <laughs> well there's definitely yeah definitely part of it um, but you know there's a lot of skills involved with 2020 cricket as well you, you, you're under you know probably more pressure in, in, in some respect because you've got to execute your skills um, in a very very short f format of the game so uh, you've got to be very innovative and think on your feet very quickly um, you know change a lot, a lot of shots change your positions in the crease as a batsman and, and obviously the bowlers have to change a lot of their deliveries as well but I, I still think yeah it's, it's about trying to bring new people to cricket in uh, getting young kids to fall in love with the game of cricket and, and it's a great vehicle to do that so uh, certainly I think the entertainment value is, is really important and it's important for us players to really engage with the, uh, the young, the young uh, kids out there as well. You've been a big supporter of the format, though, having gone to India and also played at North Ants in England. How do you uh, how do you feel about playing for different franchises and with different groups all the time, having not come into the background or the environment before? I, I, to be honest, I really enjoy it. Um, I, I think it's fantastic to uh, be able to see how different players from all around the world prepare, how they play the game, how they are around a, uh, around a team environment. You can learn a lot of those sort of guys, having guys like Paul Collingwood and uh, Herschel Gibbs here. Just to see how they go about their cricket is fantastic, even for me, but also fantastic for our, our younger Western Australian players as well, to be able to see how these guys go about their cricket from, from other places all around the world. Uh, you know, I've learned a lot from watching guys, how they play the conditions in India, in particularly, watching some of the, the fantastic Indian players, just, just how they go about manipulating the field and the ball in their conditions. And I feel like I've learned a lot from watching them. So I think our players will, will be no different. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Okay. Appreciate it. All the best. No worries. Thank you.